The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, the 25th of July, almost wrapping up the month. Got just another four or five sessions to go. Look at this. The S&P screamed in a single leg A to the upside from this trend line support uh, at the 45, 80-ish, 79 area and ran all the way up to about the 45, 93 level and then gave it up halfway. That's all. But in the, that's the 10 minute chart. Look at the uh, look at the one minute chart. Goes to a peak D in the Chapman wave. We're always looking for four higher peaks, at least four higher peaks in a buy signal to buy mode upgrade. And then we can see something else happen. Could continue higher, could have a sharp decline. That could be it. We'll see. My thinking here is, and I want to go through this one step at a time. This particular chart pattern that we see here is the Eiffel Tower. It goes straight up, straight down. The one-minute chart taking out the left side low right there. This is a very, very little mini 20-minute uh, or so chart. Uh, and the single uh, A to the upside in the 10-minute chart, you can have a failure. But that failure says you've got to go about, I'd say, 60, 60, 70 percent below um, the Low from the high, give back to the downside, and then you can see a move. In this case, 45.81 will be the 200-period exponential moving average. Right here, going into the 10.20 time frame, is the culmination of this first part of the trading morning, and then we'll see what happens. So within that context, here we go. This is the way, way I'm looking at the Dow. But I, first, I want to do something that I, I wanted to do on Friday. Then I, I, I just, because of the show, I just completely forgot to look down at my page. It had a big note to say, talk about this. I was looking at charts, charts, charts. Yesterday, same thing. I had it all written down, but I'm not going to forget about it today. Uh, two greats. One is the passing of Tony Bennett. Uh, just a fantastic musician, and if any of you know his art, a fabulous artist as well. Um, one of the things about Tony Bennett, and I especially like the the latter part of his uh, career where, yeah, he was starting to fade a little bit. His voice wasn't quite as rich as it had been, uh, and he started to sing with all these different uh, uh, Amy Winehouse. Uh, what was uh, what's the other one? one uh, I like uh, piano singer. A Diana Krall did a whole bunch of uh, stuff, um, and I, I I love that that he was doing that just duets with them. All right, that's number one. Just a fantastic musician, as I understand it. I don't know. You just it's only stuff you read. You don't really. I haven't heard from personal music, although I do know musicians in New York, but I don't know if they played with uh, Tony Bennett. Um, it just sounds like he was a really nice guy. Yeah, it's hardly ever that you get guys at the top like, oh, Lady Gaga, yeah. It just, it was great. Um, so the passing is, says that's okay because he's moved on to an, another phase. Uh, that's okay. We are left with absolutely a, a, just a, a great archive of <clears throat> all the things that he did. That's number one. Number two is that's at the end of a career. There is someone at the beginning of the career who I, I've t spoken about before, about uh, six, seven months ago. And I said, I love this player. Uh, Alcarez is the tennis, Spanish tennis player. I, I love the way he plays. He's just got a litany of styles. He can drop shot. He can go from one side. He's running. I love that. It's not like Sapras and, you know, where all these guys or Federer playing mostly at the back and just whacking and then acing and all that. He does it all. I love that kind of style. And, in fact, that style's permeated throughout the, the, the younger players, both the men and the women. I love the women tennis, women's tennis now. It's also very exciting. So, with that said, I've done that what I want to do Friday. Forgot. Want to do Monday. Forgot. Well, I didn't. I just overlooked it. But I wanted to pay tribute to someone who's, got a fabulous career coming up 
and uh, someone who had a fa fabulous career going down. So uh, with that said, here we go. We're at a very interesting inflection point. I call it an inflection point. I shouldn't really because that's anticipating something that hasn't happened. So this is what I'm looking at now. This is just purely on a technical basis. We'll look at the Dow. I want to take a little time today. I don't think there's all that much to do. We've got an extremely diverse market. Uh, I just showed you in the in the update, G going to new recovery highs, Raytheon just plummeting to the downside. So even even within sectors that are very similar, you've got such diverse story. American Express, the American Express takes a, a, a quite a sharp pullback. Uh, MasterCard uh, up near its all-time highs. And that's what we're looking at. So with that said, let me just do this. I've got a list of stocks that I'm going to look at. I'll, I'll go through them, but I want you to just articulate my thoughts right now. So for subscribers, there are two positions that we've taken, short positions. And um, it was an anticipation. I don't usually do that, but it, that both, both of the... Uh, Positions that we took were where the daily prices had gone to a D, it started to pull back. And that's usually where we start a particular position based on Chapman Wave methodology, but not with everything in sync. And that, that's been a concern of mine over the last couple of days because this is what I'm looking at. Let's just go through all the different charts that I want to look at here. In price, the Dow from the low back in early July... I'll give you the exact date. From right here, this pullback that's still right at the 50-period exponential moving average on the 10th of July at 33,705, suddenly saw the nine-period moving average, which was so close to turning down, remain green. And I'll, I should do this right now while I'm talking about it. So let me just do this. I'll go to recent, recent... Um, uh, let me just see blank demo there. Oh, let me go to this chart right here. And remember, I spent a bunch of time talking about this and saying if the one indicator that keeps you in a trade longer than you would ever expect, uh, this is not the one that I wanted. This is a Tesla chart. This is a different pattern. This is a rising wedge formation. Very often sees a combination to the downside then a cup formation that tries to get back to the high, and then that's the one that you measure the vertical left side, right side. This is Tesla. I don't believe this is what I, this is what I wanted, the one at the back, which is um, the Dow. So here's the Dow. Look at that nine period moving average, and it's still moving higher. So within that context, the nine has held, and one of the reasons why we've kept our core long positions from October of 2020 and then from again uh, in, sorry, that was, yeah, this past October 2022, and then the low back in 2020 is because what we're looking at is uh, just a major, a major strength in the monthly charts. But on the daily chart, look at this, we've got the nine period moving average way over the 14 and the price is way over the 14. In the S&P, you've got the price over the nine and the nine over the 14. In the QQQ, it's getting closer and closer, but it's still, they're both positive. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up six, S&P's up seven. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. technical whatever it is but if you go back and i remember this from way way back when we used to wait on a thursday for the m1 and then the m2 money supply and invariably there'd be some reaction but really i learned a long time ago the trend doesn't change on those things it usually changes either before or after it'll be a kicker for something that's going to happen in any case so Let's just for the moment exclude the fact that the Fed tomorrow could come out with a statement, and I'll do this quickly because it all ties together. Look, the TBT, that's the inverse of the ultra, this is the ultra short Lehman 20 year treasury bond fund. Still, like I've been saying for months, stuck in a range. The yields are stuck in a range. It did make a peak D and a pullback, but it's holding the halfway marker in this long, narrow uh, rectangle formation. And it is bouncing. And if you look at the TLT, it is getting closer and closer to the lower part of the lowercase h that goes to lowercase m. In fact, I can even stretch that out a little bit more. So there it is. <clears throat> Which says it's absolutely imperative to hold the 98 support level, right? And we're at 101.28. So that just says to me, okay, that's that's one thing. So it does. this is not giving you a clue just yet as to what can happen with the Fed. I'll just say if the um, if TLT trading at 101.27 uh, actually slides under 97.50 in the next two weeks, finally you're going to see something that says, "Uh oh, yields can go quite a lot higher." But in the meantime, they just stuck in a range. That's number one. Number two is going back to the to the to the Dow. Um, so I'm excluding now. What can happen with the Fed? Because if there is going to be a very sharp turnaround, it's going to come from the dark news cloud cover because it's not going to come from just price movement. Look, the price right now up 22 at 35,432 is way above the nine period moving average. The nine is way above the 14. 
The MACD is strong. Stochastic's flat at 93%. The on-balance volume finally is getting a little bit overbought, and it's very overbought. If I squash this a little bit, you'll see. Look at that. Very overbought. But now we've got everything normalized. We can stretch out the daily chart. And it just says, under any so the, the price is ready for a pullback. But it hasn't done anything yet. So... What I am looking at, and this is the daily. I can't go to the weekly right now. I'd have to wait till Friday, and I'm not going to go to the monthly. I'm just saying at this particular point, I'm going to go to the show. The speedboat is the daily. That's the one that turns around quickest. That'll impact the weekly chart. So we only need to look at the daily. Look at the S&P. The S&P right now starting to falter. Falter doesn't mean to say that it's turning down. It just means that it's struggling over the last five sessions of the little doji candle at 4578.43 on the uh, July the, the 18th. Uh, it's just, it, it hasn't made a new recovery high. Uh, and you've got the weekly chart holding very nicely and the monthly chart. So the daily chart here again is going to be the issue. So I'm going to say, if one at a time, if the Dow by Friday is trading not at 35,780 or higher, but is actually trading below the red candle of today's, so that was Friday. No, I'm going to go all the way to a Thursday. Thursday's high was 35,372. Thursday's low was 35,091. If the Dow is trading below 35,000, Friday into this coming Monday, then we've made some kind of a short-term top. If the S&P has resistance now up at the, uh, uh, I'd say, 4590s, but in the meantime, if it trades by Friday or Monday, trades, it doesn't have to close, but just trades underneath the candle low of last no, Thursday, but Wednesday, and that'll be 4314, that's 50 points from here to the downside, about 500 down points. Um, that's his short-term top. Forget about the weekly uh, until Monday of next week. Now you're going to start looking at the weekly chart to see how that's impacted. But the technicals are fantastic in all time frames. Look at the QQQ, something slightly different here. It's pulled back quite sharply from the 387.13 low. It's tried to fill the gap from uh, earlier uh, last week or the week before. But if it's trading under 369, it's a 378 right now. That's seven points lower. But if it's trading under that, we've made a, a short-term top. And it says, watch this closely. The SMHs, the semiconductors. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't do the upside. If the upside, if there's a new recovery high in the 388s in that time, that is really good action. All right, let's go to the, uh, I should do the IWM. IWM holding very nicely. Good day today, up 90 cents at 105.87. Are the small caps coming back? Well, if you're looking at small caps, look at the things that have been beaten down. Look, you've got Triple M. I mentioned it yesterday, stuck in a range. And then all of a sudden comes out with pretty darn good news. It's up five at 109.55 leg D. But the leg D says that if it's able, the high today is 110.37. If it's able to get to 110.91, then there's a really good chance that the 200 period moving average at 111.81, which is the, it'll be the first time um, in, oh my goodness. Wow. It'll be the f first time since, August of 2021 at 202, that that was the last time it hit the 200 period moving average. It got really close twice. It got really close back in end of 22, uh, beginning of 2022. It got close, and then it just missed it back in August of last year. But it hasn't crossed positive. It hasn't even touched the 200 period moving average. Uh, and this is really important. So we're looking at uh, Triple M. And that's the thing that I'm looking at. When I spoke about a rotational potential of a consolidation, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So suddenly you've got Triple M in play because it's broke the rectangle resistance. Well, the day is young. It hasn't closed. But this is fantastic action. Mm -mm. 
And the monthly chart is just horrible, a really nice candle, but it's a horrible chart. The weekly chart is starting to improve by saying maybe now we get a cup formation. And that's the point I'm trying to make, that I don't see, I'm not going to talk about a crash scenario, I just don't see that at all. But I don't see a major sell-off here when you've got rotation. As long as you've got rotation, as long as you've got the XLF, Moving up nicely off the low, it's in the rectangle formation. It's still uh, it got it got a long way to go to get to the 38s, which says, "Wow, now it's free and clear to try to make its way to the all-time high." But at this particular point, it's held well, it's done well, and this says maybe the triple M's and the Bank of Americas, etc. In this particular case, so I need to get back there. I want to show you the bull chart. Gold is now down two at 1959. Um, it's just kind of stuck, but I'm watching the dollar because the dollar is acting quite nicely. I'll be back. Dow's up 21. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating Investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So we've got crude oil in leg C. If it makes a new uh, recovery high today, that continues leg C, but I still see it going to a D uh, regardless. And it is on a very quick leg D in the weekly chart. So I just wanted to quickly cover that. Um, now, where was I? I was talking about uh, oh, the dollar. So the dollar is acting quite well. It's not great, but it's, I mean, let's face it. It could have a fantastic rally, and all it could do is get your last week's uh, high, uh, uh, each day's high. 
Um, but this is a nice turnaround based on the Chapman wave lowercase h that goes to lowercase m that gets back into the arch formation and the rectangle within two bars. It did that last week and it's doing it again this week. And that just says to me, don't rule out the dollar. It is important and you can't rule it out because if you look at the EUR USD, <clears throat> oh, talking currencies, that reminds me. Uh, Larry Pesavento is going to do um, an all-day webinar, or at least five-hour webinar coming up, I think a week from tomorrow. It should be, as always, just a fantastic one because he just, it's really amazing um, how he uses his techniques to identify an exact spot to get in, either long or short, um, with the measurements of the way he uses Fib, the way he uses the uh, Gartley, the way he uses the... Um, just all these different techniques, and uh, he explains them. And I, I of course, I, I use particular points. But most importantly, once we got the points that I use Chapman Wave methodology, what he does is he identifies what could be the turn, and then he monitors how it reacts right at that moment. And he can have within pennies sometimes. It's it's really fabulous. So. I recommend um, Larry's. I don't actually. I don't have to. Re everyone knows. So if you if you're interested, I know that you'll already be wanting to sign up. Check it out. It's really a, a fantastic resource. So the euro made a peak D. Three Doji's at the top. It's pulled back sharply, and that's an and a peak D in the weekly chart, possibly this week. And this is the reason why I'm saying I'd be a little careful here. And that's what we do. That's why we've in we've implemented two different sector shorts, um, and We'll see. That's all I can do. I, I, we've done it based on uh, certain technical aspects. But the one most important one that uh, is still very important is that the 9 is still, in all of them, the 9 is still above the 14. But in this particular case, look, the USD JPY, this is the dollar Japanese yen, um, it's close to turning green. The 9 period moving average is still pink. And and yet it's in a, at a leg B, uh, sorry, a peak B. A very, very sharp move up, pushing away from the 200 period moving average. And the stochastic's only at 60%. MAGD hasn't even turned positive yet. It's really close, but it hasn't turned positive. So all I can say is you have to wait for these to unfold to get the confirmations. But there's a lot that says um, there's a chance the dollar can go a little higher. And if the dollar goes a little higher, it does have some impact, certainly on the multinationals. Uh, another thing I want to look at here is so. I had a bunch of questions. Now I'm going to get to them. So the stocks, let's just see. Look down. Always forget to look down at all my notes that I have here. Uh, let's just do this one at a time. A question about D-Dog. Uh, D-Dog, this is Datadog, uh, security platform for cloud applications. This is a very nice double, little potential double top here with a gap up. I don't know if there's news or earnings today, but the high on the uh, 18, uh, 19th, mm -hmm was 117.45, and today it's 117.47. Now, I've made a really big deal for about a year and a half to say my the evidence of what I do statistically suggests strongly that when I have an alternate count, G slash C, in other words, in, in Chapman Wing methodology, you're trying to identify the low bar, just count each successively higher peak, alpha alphabetize them sequentially, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's at that fourth highest P, uh, peak, peak D that other things can happen. But uh, there's a chance sometimes when the price, when the nine period moving average hasn't turned pink, it's still green, uh, that you've got a continuation pattern and you haven't taken out the previous low that went to a buy signal and then a, a sell signal. So in this particular case, I continued the count just to say, it looks to me like it's C, but I'm going to keep it as a G slash C with that peak F at 103.80. And let's see what happens. Well, this is what I've been saying. G slash C, the majority of the time, you will find that you will get, as long as the technicals are good, a peak D or a leg D. And then you've got to be careful. So right now it's done that. And if you do a measurement of the, the strength at this particular point to the strength uh, five ses six sessions or five sessions ago, You'll see it's just a little bit weaker, but price is the arbiter of the trend. Right now, it's gone to a higher high. 
leg D in the monthly chart, only a leg B in the in sorry, leg D in the weekly chart, leg B in the monthly chart. So yes, it's acting very well. I think that's what you wanted to know. Um, and it's a, two two people had asked me about Twilio. Uh, Twilio is trading at uh, Twilio Inc. Gosh, I forgot to write down what they do. I can't remember. I've seen the seen the price for ages and ages, and I keep forgetting. This is a very interesting one. It had a number of peak A to peak B, and then a lower A to B, and then a lower A to B, and then another lower A to B. But <clears throat> no, I thought I had to go over this again, and then I, I overlooked it. That is a, the reason why I say that this is your low bar and every single peak above needs to be counted regardless of the pullback as long as the low initial low holds and this is it. P, I, everything I was looking at said I must be missing something. The chart formation looks like it's a D. Why? It went right to the 200 period moving average, got repelled and there it is. Peak A, B stalls, A, B stalls. I should make them gray. A, B stalls, and then it goes A, B, C, and you did get that D because everything about it says that is a, a repellent moment. I don't want to, I, yes, I can. I can put in a down arrow to say it's in a cell signal close to a cell mode. Um, yes, I think it's, it's stalling right now. Twilio, I'd be careful. Uh, it's already tested the 200 period moving average. I think it's in a digestive phase. phase. I wouldn't be surprised at fifth, at 61.78. I wouldn't be surprised if the 58 is going to be tested in, in the next two weeks. So just be a little careful. And the upside, yes, it does have upside, but I think it's limited because there's a tremendous resistance level. Next question came in. Um, so NVIDIA. Oh, that was just a question of the debt. Yeah, it's having a nice move up to 11 at 458. I think that it's starting to show some topping signs, but the nine is still over the 14. I'm watching this really closely because it has to do with the SMHs, and the SMH has got a nice move up 263 today at 156.55. Wow, uh, that nine period moving average refused to go negative. So we're watching this, and that also helps the Dow a little bit, just in the sense that it is a a kind of a, a market barometer. So NVIDIA is doing well. Um, let me just see. Sorry to GSM. I've got other things to do as well. So let me get this done. GSM is trading O P as we C D. Okay. I'll be back in a moment. Ferro Globe PLC specialty methods. Yeah, I've been looking at specialty methods. They've been quite nice. Today. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I uh, just wanted you to say that thank you, uh, Pat and Dan. Uh, software for communications, Trulio. So that's uh, uh, Trulio Inc. together with its uh, subsidiaries provides software and communication solutions in the U.S. and internationally. Okay, very good. So, uh, yes, yeah, so just be a little careful there. The next question came in. What was I looking at here? Uh, GSM. So GSM is, uh, with an M for mother, Ferroglobe. PLC specialty metals, so that's the metals part of it. Um, in leg D, under the previous peak, D of 6.41, oops, 5, 5.44. <laughs> There's a big difference. 5.44, trading today's high is 5.30 in leg D, but the rectangle formation, remember we discussed this some time ago, I remember drawing it in, saying it's stuck in a rectangle formation, it's probably going towards the upper part of it, so I like everything about it. I would not like to see a peak D under the previous peak D, because then it could store for a little while longer. But in the meantime, it's acting well, and the 5.44 high of the week of the 16th of June, that would be my uh, my target would be just above that. And then it might come back in here again because the monthly chart says a lot of work needs to be done to really break to the upside once traded up in the 11s and it plummeted down to the 3s. So this is a real nice comeback in the cup formation. Uh, so another D on the way, and that's what we're looking at. So uh, here we go. A couple of things that I was asked about. Let me do this. Let me just scroll down here in the in the uh, oh and the key support will be five I'd say five twelve to five oh four that's the support in the shorts on the short uh, shorter term uh, Zip said D dog sold on the sold on the rally we'll re-enter on a pullback good um, CCJ oh CCJ is the Kamiko right Kamiko Kamiko core. Um, this is making a new recovery high. Uh, this is the cup formation that makes a little bit of a cup and handle and breaks to a leg E here. I, I like the action so far. It's uh, held the 9 is above the 4. The price is above the 9. 9 is above the 14. MACD is not great but good. Stochastic is flat at 86%. So, so far, the bias seems to be still on the upside leg D in the weekly chart. And this actually is a... Uh, new recovery high, not an all-time high. Once it, in 2011, it hit 44, 4481 in February of 2011. And I could do a left side, right side price time match. Uh, and that would take you to, yeah, it's already past it. Uh, all I can say, it's getting to this ugly candle the day, the month after the high was made back in February, March 
of 2011, high was in the 41s, low was in the 28s. That is a whopper. So it's trying to fool that, that candle. So, so far, good action. Um, okay, that's CCJ. Um, that's can we discuss. Oh, gosh. So gosh is oil. It is the oil, uh, what is it called? It's called the DX Daily S&P Oil and Gas. So this is, uh, is this a two times long? I think it's two times, three times long, three times long. So, yeah, this is doing very nicely. It's at a leg D right now. Just let me do crude oil, if you don't mind. Yeah, crude oil is in a leg C. It almost has the same pattern, except, gosh, it's gushing a little bit more. It's already gone to a D. So I like this very much. This is what I would do. I would have a part, of, I think you're long, S&P, I think you're long, and I'm going to say to you, why don't you have a, it's a three times long, so try to take your profits, take something off. That's what I tend to do for subscribers in my opening call when we have three times long. As soon as we get a certain uh, percentage gain, I immediately say, let's take something off, let's take something off, and we keep a good core position. So just a tad, a little bit off, just to say, hey, I want to re reward myself for being correct. I also want to be uh, using money management. So the money management part of me says it's still looking good. The MACD is good. Stochastic's at 93% and flat. On balance volume's a tad overbought. But it's pushed away from the 200-period moving average. So I'm going to say take a little bit off and raise your stop on, in other words, what you would take off right now you might want to even split it, take immediately take off, and I would have a, a, just a very tight stop on the rest, but I'd keep a core position. Only because it's a three times long, anything can happen. Um, then you recycle. Yeah, oh, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. So this is a very interesting one. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we always like to look at the chance of a peak C being retested almost exactly, but not going higher to go to the D and then pulling back sharply as a peak C1, C2 failure pattern. In other words, it's like a D where you get a sharp pullback. And that's exactly what I did. This should have been the low right here, the ori original low back in March. And then it goes peak A, peak B, Peak C1. Oh, what am I doing there? Those are up arrows. I forgot to put the letters. Oh, that looked very exciting, didn't it? A whole new technique we've got here. Um, yeah, so that's A, that's B, and here's your C1, C2. And, and charts that tend to make C1, C2 often repeat them. They, re, you know, they get to know the characteristic of the stock that you're trading. Does it go to a D? If it does that and it does it more than once, it says, hey, very often this wants to do that. Um, and if it fails, then say, okay, be careful, it fails. But here's the other one. This is a peak C1, C2, look at the exact top right there. And then it pulls back, starts a brand new buy signal to buy mode. Peak A pulls back. As long as it doesn't take out the original low, you've got to count each successively higher peak. Peak A, peak A, B. Also B, C1, C2, pulls back, and now we've got peak A, peak B, peak C, and our leg D. I hope that clarifies for you what we needed to discuss in terms of the Chapman Wave methodology. And the only other thing I would do is I'd say, yeah, you could. I'm doing it on gush. I should do it on the oil contract itself. But I'm going to do it on gush. My eye says that this is probably the midpoint and that at some stage, and I'll give you the, the type of price movement in time, and price that I'm looking at says, oh, I should move it to the right. I have to add bars. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So add six days, six days to that. Uh, on the 4th of August, and we're looking at um, August, August. Yeah, 4th, so you can't, you got to exclude those. I say by about the 10th of August, there's a chance that I don't think uh, 150 is just way too much right now. You're at 139. But I'd say you're going, you're heading towards the 146 area at this, this rate if it continues to hold well. That's crude oil. All right, enough with that. Let's go to the next thing. So, Newmont, and sorry, no, new, this is Newcore Steel, 
This is a really nice move today, up six, six. This is what I mean by the rotation in this market. Um, up six today at 172. Uh, I have to call this F slash C because it's so strong. And it's a C, leg C in the uh, weekly. I, I have to tell you, if the cyclicals like a new cause doing well, I, I don't want to be overly bearish. I, I can be bearish short term, but this is good. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's at Chapman, Dow's at 17. We'll be right back. Attention traders. Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So we're talking about peak C1, C2, and very timely, what did we get in the one-minute chart? Peak A, peak B, and then an exact double pop in C1, C2. Go to 25, so time to go to T, and now you've got another arch formation. I'm... I'm a little cautious here thinking that it's not going to so much be the Fed what they say, it's what the market interprets. Remember, we need a dark news cloud cover to get some kind of selling pressure that is maintained. You can't just have a, an hour, a 25-point uh, S&P pullback, and then you're back to the highs. It needs to be sustained. To get the sustain, the market suddenly has to say, whoops. Uh, wasn't expecting that, and then you can get your down move. So we'll be watching this very closely. Uh, in the meantime, back at the ranch. So AA, just uh, real quickly, I'll go back to what I was looking at. So the, I'm looking at, first of all, if the, I'll do this for the end of the day. If the Dow is uh, minus 30 or more, 
After 1.30 this afternoon, there's a chance that we'll close negative, just waiting for the Fed tomorrow. If there is up 50 points or more, that's really, that's very positive. At the close, uh, that'll be very positive. So here we go. AA, nice bounce today, but it's been stuck in the range. Is this going to be a triple M? Is this, is this one of those? And I'm going to say, put them on your radar. All the ones that were absolutely faltering. They could come on as this market, if this market starts to pull back. Fund managers are going to be looking for something else. Look at Z, uh, not Z in the den, Z, Zillow Core, getting a little toppy, Doji Candle, uh, all time, uh, not all time, a recovery high just recently. Maybe it starts to pull back. So I'm saying, uh, look at look at the TMO. We spoke about this the other day. Thermo Fisher Scientific, what a fabulous move up. Just a week ago, trading the 520s. Today, it hit 580.09. So it's a very special market we've got right now. Um, I think the AI area is starting to become a little toppy. I can see that sector coming back a little bit. So hold tight. You've got Steve Rhodes coming up. It should be a great show as always. I'll be back with Tom a little later today. And check out my week all day. Have a